<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today I got one of my friends with me, Miss Mocha J. BBW. Baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> BBW. Oh, let me hold on. <laughs> let me get straight. <laughs> Miss Mocha J. BBW baby. Okay. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm so so I know I'm good. I finally got you here. I know. I know. Look, we had to come two thousand miles to get here. Right. All the way from Washington D.C. How was it? How long? Was it? <laughs> Twenty-one hours along. Did you stop or how'd y'all go? <laughs> we stopped to get like gas, get a little bit of food here and there. But y'all did push it straight? Yes. Dang. Yeah. That's a long time. I had entertainment. Like, people can't drive. And that's coming from someone that can't drive. <laughs> so, let's tell my friends about yourself. Who are you? What do you do? All right, so my name is Miss Mocha Jones, BBW. I'm an adult entertainer. So the breakdown with adult entertainment is I do everything underneath the umbrella, which means I escort, I do cam, I do mod adult modeling, mm -hmm. adult hosting. So everything is underneath adult that you know you got for the kids to see that's 18 and under. Okay. I dance, I do porn, just all around. So let's talk about those things. Which one? Which one's your favorite? porn right now why is that just because i'm meeting <laughs> it's sad to say just because i'm meeting people i look i'm low-key freaked out but i'm also shy and i'm bi so i'm meeting a lot of <laughs> freak nasty people <laughs> like say some different things but safety though yeah it's hard safety. and i'm gonna say dancing too because i started all dancing young Mm -hmm. And I have a dance background. I did tap, ba ballet, tap, jazz, all that. Mm -hmm. And I like to twerk, so I like to dance. <laughs> Why not twerk this? So How's that going, going for you? It's okay. I, I know I'm a little bit out of shape with it. I'm getting back in it, though. Mm -hmm. It don't clap like it used to, but it still gets it's moving. <laughs> have you had any bad experiences during escorting? Lord, so my very first out of state travel, I was in New York, and Zoom back page was open, and I had this dude that wanted to do this weird, crazy fetish. He was like, he wanted to do a mommy fetish, and I was like, oh, okay, so you just want me to say you're my son and everything. So I buzz him into my Airbnb. He had, you know, the jacket, the raincoat jacket, mm -hmm. and everything. I what was he? I want to say he was white, but he wasn't white. Because in New York, they just a uh, whole mixed breed of everything mm -hmm. down there. So when he took the coat off, he was in a diaper, a grown diaper. Oh, they're my favorite. <laughs> That's what I was like, whoa. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Mm -hmm. He was like, I want you to hold me. And he's six. I'm five, five at the time. This man is six, two. He looked like a good 245, solid. <laughs> He want me to crazy you like a baby, fake stuff. I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna do it. It's the money was going right? I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. 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 So I'm in there doing it. Treat him like a big baby that he is, and it's just like, this is so weird. Like that, like be the case. Like I thought pegging niggas was okay. I thought shitting on people was, but that <laughs> I was like, wow. Like what? made you have this weird fetish that you want to be treated like a big yeah. baby but what makes you think that i think they have like mommy issues that you i thought like you have to have mommy oh, issues yeah. to do that type of fetish but each their own like i was have, it fun it was weird because he was literally trying to like i have huge cities and i don't have kids but people automatically think they see on that like versity you know, I have kids. I'm like, no, I don't have kids. Mm -hmm. He's thinking I'm dried up. I never had a baby, so. <laughs> Is that powder milk? Like, <laughs> no. So you're like, yeah, hey, can we? Like, I had a dude asking, yeah, can we? Oh, my God, he's so big. Can we get some breast milk? I, I don't have kids. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, I got to hit a friend up real quick. Like, hey, hey, let me buy some breast milk for you real quick. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> just, actually, I've been, actually, this really opened my eyes. 
to a lot. Like, I'm about to be 30, mm -hmm. and I started going full throttle when I was 25. I had a regular 9 to 5 from the age I was 13 up to... So what kind of jobs were you working? I do um, hospitality. Okay. So I was a manager at McDonald's since the age of 16. Mm -hmm. But in Maryland, where I'm from, you can't be a legal manager till 18. I started off in food service. I did catering. Mm -hmm. I, I just love food. Mm -hmm. That was what I went to school for. But then it's just like, I like sex too. And so how did you do the transition? All right, what so, age were you and why? So when I start, so what made me get into the transition was I originally started dancing. I got into with my store manager, mm -hmm. and she's like, you know what, you're fired. I was like, no, I quit in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, I like to dance. And my first fiance was like, well, why don't you just dance at this club in Virginia? Mm -hmm. So I'm dancing in the club in Virginia, and I was like, all right, okay, I like this. And then one of the dudes that came in, he was like, well, you're just real pretty and gorgeous. Can you know, I do a VIP. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm getting in front of myself up. I can do this VIP. I'm thinking he just wanted a regular dance. No, he wanted a hand job and he wanted to fuck. And I was like, whoa, I ain't about to get kicked out of the club for that. He was like, no, you don't lie down. And he was like, he's like, whatever you want, just tell me. So I was like, all right, I'm going for a hand job. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, all right. And I'm like, oh, shit, okay. And I had friends that was like older than me. And they was like, yeah, girl, you've been in all this time. Just you know, post something or just work the club. So I just worked the club mm -hmm. and I did that for a little while. But then I was like, you know what? I don't think this is right. Let me just go back to go back to working. So I went back to the same McDonald's that my godfather was a manager. So okay. manager did. And I was like, you know what? Me and her not talking anymore. Let me just go back to work at McDonald's. But I was still doing that part time dancing and just mm -hmm. doing little stuff. And then like low key, I was having sex. So it was just like. Alright, I'm not doing that. Okay, yeah. cool. But then I ran into my half sister, and she, you know, she came. She was, we, I was brought up in the thing. My stepfather was a P, but he wanted us to have a regular nine to five. But he taught us about the game. You know, like everything. He didn't want that for his daughters. Okay. So I was like, all right, well, I'm not gonna do that. But then I ran into my half sister years later, and she was doing it. She's like, well, you really want to make some fast money instead of making, you know, the little seven eight hundred dollar checks. Let me put you on. I was like, well, I already know what I'm doing. She was like, no, I'm about to post you on Backpage. And from there, that's how it happened. Okay. Went out to Baltimore one day and made a stack in, in like the first two days. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. And that was more like I was already taking care of my helping my mother out. My stepfather passed in 03, so I was helping her out with my little brother. So I was like, that's real good money for me. Like, okay, mm -hmm. sure. Maybe want to fuck me anyway, so yeah. shit. Why not pay for it? Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you have any like super bad experiences with that? God bless my soul. Well, God or whoever you believe in bless my soul and I have it. The most wildest experience I had was someone tried to rob me and it was in my house. But it didn't get that far because I had an AK model and you ain't about to think you about to rob me in my own house where yeah. I sleep at. And before he got out that door he had his ass whooped, so you know who you are. Hey, that was, that's scary. It is, but I feel like I like the adventure of it. Okay. And the thrill. The thrill. Like, I don't want nothing bad to happen to me, and that's why I be on my P's and Q's, mm -hmm. which I believe everybody should. But, you know, you can't predict what the next person actually might be. Yeah. And then I'm good at, you know, I'm a calm person. So if you're coming in and riding it, I'm going to try to keep you calm and make you comfortable. Yeah. So we can both be comfortable. So, yeah. you know, nothing, don't go outrageous. Okay. Because I heard crazy stories. Yeah. I heard people got killed. I heard girls getting involved. I always don't want to be in that predicament because yeah. I'm crazy. So. <laughs> well, it seems like you know what you're doing. I do, but at the same time, you just never know. Definitely when you're out here, definitely when you're out here traveling to other states and everything goes, it's just, you just you just don't never know when that day might come, when you gotta get crazy with the person. And show them you could be just as crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I get that. <clears throat> so, now you moved on or doing porn. Do you have like an OnlyFans page or anything? Yes, I have two OnlyFans. Right now. Okay. I have a paid one and then I have a free one. So what's the difference between a paid and a free? Okay, so my on my free one, you're just seeing seductive little videos and pictures. Mm -hmm. I still I'm still fully clothed. 
I might talk to you here and there through my video. And if you want to see explicit things, I put a price on it. On my paid one, that's for all the freak nasty things. You, just, you can see me walking around butt ball naked. <laughs> you can see me just talking to you with my wig off. Like, just anything goes. Wig off thoughts. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you do that. Right. Like, so Come on with the wig and be like, wig off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, how is OnlyFans going? It's, people think, you, people think it's so easy, but if you're in this game, this industry, this sex game, industry, sex work, and you don't have like a regular nine to five, OnlyFans is your nine to five. And I didn't realize that I was doing so you much. You do a lot of promoting for it though. Now, okay. in the beginning, I was just posting stuff. Like I make a video, be 20 minutes long, and only have like 20 followers and nobody's tipping me or anything else. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So what I started doing, I ain't gonna lie, I started paying people to do see what they was doing, subscribe to the free pages. I'm, you know, I study. I was asking yeah. questions and I was like, you know what? I see what I'm doing went wrong. You helped me out a little, you helped me out. Oh, and then mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Let me revamp my page. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why am I only getting, like, I see females making 3K and everything. And I'm like, no, I'm only getting a thousand a month. Like, yeah. And that's not all, that's just, just me hijacking my prices or people tipping me here and there. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. So once I revamped it, she has a lot of work that goes into it and I feel like I feel like this. The most the the most kept secret to all this is Telegram. See before Telegram, I was just doing like, hey, I was like, hey friend, you got an OnlyFans? That's you know, give me your thing and I put a post picture a post picture of you mm -hmm. and you post a picture of me. This is what I knew about Telegram. A girl back home named Krilla Thick, she told me about Telegram. And I was like, oh, all right, mm -hmm. let me. And so she put me on, she put me in like 20 groups off of Jump Street. And I was like, oh, okay, this is really, really a lot of work. I was like, oh, I gotta really That's sit work. down and get the hang of it. So I just watched and I was like, all right. She helped me understand a little bit more. And then she was like, you got it? And I was like, if I don't, I'm about to figure it out. Yeah, because I feel like this for girls that don't know, um, or anybody with the OnlyFans, get in Telegram, get in some groups, start off in a few groups. And they're like, well, what's the purpose? Well, the purpose is so you can cross promote with other people that have so you pay them. Like, if that's if you, that's like, it's free cross promotion if you don't want to pay for promotion. Mm -hmm. And I also tell people to Twitter. Like, I got a lot of my fans from Twitter because some of the fact they knew who I was when I had Tumblr. And just me being goofy and funny around the neighborhood. And they be like, oh, well, I want to see what she do behind closed doors. Yeah. And I had my, my fan club of creeps. So they were like, I want to know. Creep squad? <laughs> fan club of creeps. And they're the ones that you grew up with. And they be like, oh, I brought your girl up. And how you grow? How you going? I'm like, oh, crap. What? You want to You just had no paper. No, you ain't grown. I'm like, oh, 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 oh okay. I've had the opposite experience happen to me. So you said how they watched you real. I <laughs> I used to manage at a fast food place, and like don't no I'm sorry for you, but don't nobody understand that fast food like unless you was in it. Oh yeah, I was in it for years. Yeah, I was in it for ten years. So I feel like I've had some of my old employees. They like want to see what I got on there, what I'm doing, but I ain't gonna lie. Like when I get on them, I don't give them no discounts. Like the people that know me, you're not getting on my page for no discount price and you're gonna buy something. You're gonna pay for something. They bought videos and I'm just like, okay. That's your fan club of creeps. And they <laughs> That's always why. one of them, always been the one who know, who know like the real you and then they're like, oh, you do this? Okay, well, let me see what you got. Like, I, like my craziest friends was like, I was posting where I was posting up and down and everything and I mean, I was just chilling. I got a client that I could come in. Mm -hmm. And the client was someone that I would, was a principal. At, he was a principal at my school. I'm not going to say which school. He was a principal at my school. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what you doing? That happened to my cousin with his college professors. I'm like, what you doing? He was like, I'm 
you know, wanted to see what that dirt was like. Because I have a porn hub. Oh, and I, <laughs> I had a porn hub and I didn't know he was viewing it. I got my fashion on porn hub too. Like I was putting like. Okay, so I tell hood. people about that. So, how would you do that if I don't want to give too much away? Um, me personally, I believe in mini clips, like mini clips of whatever you know, like no more than 30 seconds, depending on what it is. Because on my OnlyFans, I basically do, you know, hit, I get it. I get hit, you want to see some back shots, <laughs> you want to see some pictures. Um, I do do a lot of stuff with friends. And I basically do a lot of front promotion. I'm like, hey, I did, if I did work with you, mm-hmm. you'd be all over my all my own fans. Yeah. Or if I did work with anybody else, they'd be on my own. Oh, yeah, that's how I am, too. Um, like, I'm really doing more. I'm, I'm just now really getting into doing work with other people. Wait till I see our content. Lord, wait till you see the concert I did two weeks ago. <laughs> when, like, it was my first time doing BBS. Like I don't, I, I don't, but I'm kinky. But so how was, was that? Man, I did boy on boy. I did boy and girl, and then I did girl on girl. And I was getting walk with the, with the floggers and ties and everything. Mm. And like that's my biggest fear. Like I had a bad experience when mm. I was younger, but my cousins had tied me up, and mm. they just left me. So it's just like I don't do role play at mm. all. And it was really fun. She made me feel really comfortable and everything. So I was like, thank you. Okay. I can probably do it again now. Yeah. Like I've been to glory holes and everything. It's just like I just don't believe in tying me up. You're not gonna tie me up. <laughs> You're not gonna blindfold me. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I mean, mm, mm, mm. But you can get the guys that pay for you to do that to them. Yeah, why y'all don't call me? <laughs> Hit her up, all my sissies, all my friends. Like, call me. Like, I'm goofy, but I can be dominant. So I did dominate for a little while. But what made me stop doing it because I was just too goofy. I was like trying to be serious. Like, ah, t- look at my foot. And then I start to laugh. And they're like, I'm not being serious. I'm like, I'm sorry. This is just funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just having fun with it. Yeah. So, oh, what were you gonna say? Um, <laughs> what else do you want to tell the fans? I'm really an open book. Like, if you ask me anything, I tell you. Like, I'm really like deep down. I'm really a helpful person. Like, as my friends get on me so much, they say I'm too nice and I'm too helpful. And I just feel like since I started, I didn't have no guidance. And if I can help you, then why not? I mean, I know I might not get the recognition or anything, but I know that I did something that I felt good doing. So, yeah. Because at the same time, I feel like you can tell somebody in the game, but they're going to want to do it their own way. They're not you. They're going to want to do it so their own that's, way. That's how I tell people. Yeah. Like, if I tell somebody something, I might <clears throat> I don't be scared of sharing the game because they're not me. They're not going to do it how I do it. Yeah, so, and it's like, you know, the but to, if they're supposed to take it and do it their own way anyway. Yeah. So follow the little steps or whatever and, and make it your own. Yeah. I think that's the right way to go about it. Yeah. So I'm glad you came. I am too. Like people don't understand. Like I've been knowing her maybe a year and a half on yeah. social media. And yeah. Texas is far. So I was like, I come to Texas. The first thing I do is come see you. Even though I'm trying to get her to be in the and she just won't go. No, I'll come up there. Really? Mm-hmm. It'll be fun. I've never been. It'll be fun. It's like this is my first time. So out here. okay, you. I just don't know what DMV is. Okay, <laughs> what is that? DC, Northern Maryland, and Northern Virginia. It's not the whole. Oh, well, it's I don't not think... the whole Maryland, so it's not Baltimore. It's not Baltimore. That's not part of the DMV. It's Maryland, Northern Virginia, not Richmond. Just everything. If if I had a metro. Not right. So now. what? Where do you live? I live in Merlin. I live in PG County, Merlin. But they which consider is it Merlin. But they consider it the DMV. Okay. Yeah. Where is my go go and everything else? I just don't know about Virginia. See, Virginia, Virginia's not bad. It's just big. It's like really, really huge. So if you come to Virginia, I would take you to Nova, which is Northern Virginia, mm-hmm. which is Lexi Alexander, Woodbridge, Tyson Corner. Is it nice you take out some it? good food out there? Yeah. It depends on what you like. I don't like anything. Okay. Well, I'm not big on seafood, but it is cool. So then I want to take you to a seafood place. That's what Merlin's known for. Merlin's known for their crabs. 
you go through my eyes to get somewhere else like me personally i like to make a food and i'm going back i'm slowly going back to slowly being a vegan so i'll probably see some which but that's jamaican style or caribbean or you were a vegan before yeah how did that go it was actually actually like the best thing with my second fiance. i did it for like two weeks no i was a vegan for six months oh that's really good yeah, my, that was like the best thing like so what made you want to come back i came back home <laughs> And <laughs> my side piece was like, you hungry? I'm like, yeah. And he knew what I liked it and gave me a triple cheese burger with the bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, <laughs> extra, extra onions. And oh, like, you sound like me. That. I love onions. I don't need any people that love onions. Onions and garlic on a sandwich and some jalapenos. Mm. That's fine. That sounds really good. Yeah. I'm so hungry. No, <laughs> I mean, I feel like onions should be on everything. Everything. <laughs> That's all I love mm -hmm. I could just take it and bite it. I, I used to it. do that when I was younger. I tried to do it again when I was older. I was like, uh, let me cook this first. But I can do that with garlic. Mm -hmm. And I can just pull it and be like, that's good for you. It's yeah, good for your heart and everything. People don't know, like, when you're a vegan, everything that, that meat that you're like, the meat that you're not eating, the stuff that you're not, the stuff that's not really good for you, once you start eating just plant based food and like I want to, like when I get older, I want to go live back in North Carolina and just raise grow own food mm -hmm. that's just more natural and organic. I mean, real organic, not processed. Mm -hmm. One, not saying it's something one hundred percent organic. Like no, it's really organic, and it's people don't know it has a lot of health benefits to you. It aids you better. You, I met someone that I did counseling with. He's in his 40s and don't look 40 at all. I already thought he was in his 30s. Mm -hmm. Like early, mid 20s, early 30s. Yeah, vegan. Like I tell people, like when I do content, or, like even in my personal life, like when people be like, let's do cum shots. I was like, if you're not vegan, <laughs> no, we're not doing nothing. <laughs> Is there a difference between vegans come and the meat eaters come? Yes. <laughs> <It's> the, <laughs> the vegan come is like sweet. Like you can rub it in your skin like lotion and it's not about that it's harmless now people that eat meat and dairy and everything they got an odor to it like people don't know we have an odor because we eat so much meat and meat is so it takes so many days to digest in our body yeah well it's dead it's dead food no it's de decomposing more in your body oh yeah so that's why it takes you longer when you take a shit it's harder or like when you be like well you don't people don't even know they have a, a slight smell to them when they're eating all that processed stuff. Hmm. Like you get sick, that. you get sicker quick. Yeah. Like if you ever do something with someone that's vegan and you're dozing with them, they, they smell it automatically. Like when I came back and I was eating meat, I literally I was sick for two weeks when I ate that sandwich. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is what, what is going on? Like oh. your body has to get back like yeah. used to doing it. Yeah. It was like I was constipated, couldn't do anything. So what's your plan to go back to me, baby? Slowly, well, sure. Okay, so every month I'm taking out a meat. It's so hard. <laughs> so, so hard because Texas got some good food down here. So, oh, uh, we got, man. Y'all like the burger capital, man. Southern food. <laughs> yeah, it was like, that's even, even harder. Have you been to any soul food places out here? No. It's a No, I haven't. Oh I want to try this Indian place. <laughs> Like, right. cause I'm like I have family down North Carolina. Like I have my family from North Carolina and Tennessee mm -hmm. and Orange County, Virginia. So that I'm raised up on that good Southern home food. Okay. And it's just like, oh my God, how am I gonna do that again? I'm back to using it. It's me. hard, cause I love lobsters. Like man, what I love anything starch. I'm a starch baby. <laughs> like cakes, bread, just starch all along. Well, hopefully you have a good luck on that journey. I mean, I'm trying. Me so far, I cut out full. I'm about to cut out beef. I think, see, beef is going to be the easiest thing for me to cut out. It's going to be the It's going to be hard because burgers. Yeah, well, it's going to be hard for me is the chicken. Like, <laughs> chicken will probably be the easiest for me to cut out, but I know that it's the better meat. It's not, though. You don't think so? No, like, they're... Pumping our chickens, they're wearing them up and everything. Okay, so, yeah. That, and I'm not going to say lamb. For some reason, whenever I'm home, I, I can eat a lamb burger so quick. 
I never tried it. What is so good? And loud. And then like when I go visit my like, my first ex fiance, like she make these good chicken feet and fall legs. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Like I like a lot of weird stuff. That's not weird because if you grow up eating it or whatever. I think there's a lot of people who eat like weird stuff to me, but then I'm like, can I really just talk about that food just because they're not eating like me? True, that's true. And I don't eat healthy, so I, I'm not one to talk. I, I try my best to eat healthy, but when you're traveling and you want to try like everything in every state, no. Well, any final thoughts? No, this was really fun. This was enjoyable. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm happy you came. Thank you. Well, I will leave all our links below where y'all can find her. In case you missed it, you gotta follow her on OnlyFans. Follow me on Instagram. It's BBW Miss Mocha Jones. It's M is B B W M S M O C H A J O N E S. Instagram? Instagram. Okay. And then I'll add the rest of her links down below. So make sure you follow her. Bye. Bye.